God, my hair's a disaster. Good morning, you guys. It's just about 10 o'clock on Sunday, July 16th, I think. Anyway, I've had my date screwed up for quite a while now, but you know. Um, I finished my co morning coffee and my cottage cheese. Bob is off helping the kids with the construction going on at their house. It's already in the mid 70s outside. It's gonna be warm again. And I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna put on some comfy stretchy clothes and go for a walk before I do anything else. Go get some steps in, which I sorely need to do. So I think that's the plan anyway. I'll be back. Can you tell I have my orthotics on? Yes, that's what that squeaking is. I've tried all the hints and tips to get them to stop squeaking and they still squeak. So if you have anything that might work, leave it in the comments below. All right, got my coconut water with ice. I'm out of the house, I locked the door. We're gonna go for a walk. It's already warm, oh boy. All right, I'll be back. Because I just got in the zone, but I don't know if you remember, but the last time I reorganized the art room, I shoved a bunch of stuff here in the weird, what we call the weird closet. Um, Cause it's literally triangular shaped. It's very, yeah, it's different. Anyway, as you can see, there's nothing in there anymore except a few cleaning supplies and furnace filters. It's also very warm in there cause it's not insulated on that other door, which leads to the attic. So if we do with it, what I'm thinking we might do with it, we need to fix that at some point. But anyway, I got the shelf I took out of the art room, everything that was on it in the weird closet. This is our storage closet. This has packing supplies, holiday decorations, memorabilia, tax returns, like all the things. This is our storage closet. Thank God we have it. All stuff at the old house that used to, used to live in the garage, but the garage now is my husband's, his creative space for working on his cars. This stuff doesn't need to be in there, so. And we have this closet, so. That actually turned out really well. I didn't get rid of anything. I every Anything, I just moved some things around and made it work. Pretty happy about that. But now I found some office supplies that shouldn't have been in the weird closet and should really be in the art room. <sighs> But do I need all of it? I don't know. We need to go through it. I'll get a ribbon for my typewriter, which is in the closet in the art room, which this should be in there in the case with the typewriter. So, and I found an extra Ikea cart. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we'll see, maybe. All right, I'll be back. So the little bit of office supplies that really should be out here, I did have them away for a while thinking, you know, if I don't touch them and I don't go in there after them, they can just all go away. Thing is, I kept going after things like the thank you cards and stuff like that. So they needed to come back out. So that's, this is like my note card station and business cards, that's what this is. And then there were some other like scotch tape, scotch tape staples, as you saw. I don't think I've bought scotch tape or staples in like 20 years. So, I'm still working on it. It's down there, <laughs> along with a few other, along with a few other random things. That was my speaker thing. I also have been looking for this. I knew I had more lined paper somewhere. Found it. <laughs> that actually can go downstairs. I use it way more often in the kitchen than I do up here in the art room. Um, I have some tiny ones that I use sometimes for journaling little spots. I'm actually gonna put my journaling cart. Um, these we're gonna put by the staircase. So I remember to take them downstairs. The next thing to do is work on the hoard of baskets and bins in the closet. If you've been with my channel for a while, you've seen this closet before. <laughs> and yeah, it's bad again. All right, let's get to it.
I found one thing that can go for donation, this set of little salt and pepper shakers that I used to use for um, powdered pigments. And actually, I think these never had pigments in them. Anyway, so we're gonna donate them. And then the pads are gonna go down here. And then, well, this is garbage or recycling, I should say. And yes, I know you shouldn't be throwing things over the railing like that, but we don't have kids in the house and it's fun. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, it's Monday, July 17th, just before 11 a.m. I'm gonna be filming, finishing this jacket today for its own video. Um, <clears throat> and ideally, if I can manage to get up the energy to do it, I'm gonna edit the vlog and that video. We'll see if that happens. Uh, I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this empty Ikea card I found in a closet that I forgot I had, so. Yeah, that's a thing. At some point I should clean these shelves off too because this is just where stuff lands when it's drying or I'm working on it or it's in my way or you get the idea. So yeah, I don't know. All right, first up, let's get the jacket done. I'll be back. Okay, the vlog is rendering right now. And I ate some lunch. And I have my next project out. My husband loves this coat. He thinks it fits me really well. Um, I, th I agree with him in that I said, you know, I could leave it as it is and decorate it. I could leave it as it is and do nothing to it. I could leave as leave it, um, I could dye it. And he says, don't dye it. <laughs> so, um, also, I do have a couple pieces of lace that would go on it, but neither he or I are feeling it. I really want to do something with this kid's shirt that I found that says radiate positive energy. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the pockets because I don't think this has ever been worn and the pockets are still sewn shut. So yeah, I'll be back. I made the other coat. I'm really supposed to be video editing. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be making, not to mention the fact that it's the middle of summer. I'm not supposed to be making jackets, but yeah. Anyway, hang on. So it started out as a plain white denim jacket and a little pink t-shirt. Can you read that? What do you, th what do you think? It was real easy. This is a quick and easy one. I love it. Okay, it's a little bit late in the evening, but Bob just got out of a work meeting and now we are going to go for a little bit of a walk because he's been stuck at his desk all day. Yep. So I need to get off, get, get off my butt and do some work and do some running. Yeah. Well, not running, but just walking. You can't run with me. I mean, you can. I can't run. No. Because I can't breathe. All right. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 12.30ish Tuesday, July 18th. I am babysitting, which means that I'm not gonna get a lot done today. Right now he's trying to sleep and I'm just listening to YouTube. I've got a near button, so it's okay. I really wouldn't have it any other way. I'll be back. I'm getting the camera out and setting up. He says, this isn't too bad. Like it doesn't feel too hot. It's what, 81 degrees? 82. 82. That's hot. But he could live in the hottest place on earth just about and be happy. No. But his wife is the opposite. Just FYI. Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in. Junior was with us for quite a bit today. He was really good. Very tired. He is only three months old. But he was good. Read another book with him and, well, to him. And uh, yeah, it was good. And I've been sitting the rest of the afternoon crocheting on my sweater because you know it's 82 degrees out. So what am I doing making coats and sweaters? I know it's not logical, I'm aware. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and then have some iced coffee. 
because it's what we do in the summer. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is just after 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. July 19th, I think. Yeah, 19th. Um, obviously in the car. I'm gonna head out and go run some errands. My sister's sisters slash niece. <coughs> Long story, not gonna get into it on YouTube. Anyway, um, they are headed down with uh, my little sister Katie's little boys, Paxton and Beckett. They are um, four and two. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, they're gonna spend the night at our house on her way east to Maryland. She and her husband and the boys are moving to Maryland. Actually, husband's already there. So anyway, my sister's helping them get across the country. Before they come, I am gonna go run some errands and pick up a few things, enough to get by until we can actually get to the grocery store and Costco um, and make that work. So, anyway. Okay, the group driving across country is not here yet, but they will be here at some point tonight because we are their first pit stop. Um, and in the meantime, I've been doing some sewing. Of course I have. Um, so I keep seeing these ads for a tote bag company um, called Tote Savvy. And they have these tote bags with organizers um, they've made to go to fit inside that match and all that. I'm like, and I've had something like that in the past. I oh, this that's interesting. I've got some leftover denim and of course I've got fabric. So I decided to make the bag today, which I did out of some leftover denim, the last of the leftover denim. So we've got this pocket on the outside and there's a zipper pocket on the inside. And I found a pattern for a bag organizer on So She Can. I think that's the name of the website, So She Can, it's called the Handy Purse Organizer Sewing Pattern. And if I can find the website I found it at, I'll link it below. Anyway, I cut out some pieces to make a matching insert, organizer insert. I could have put interfacing and stuff in this. I didn't bother. Um, I don't know, just wasn't feeling it, so I didn't do it. But anyway, this is gonna be interesting and we're gonna use the left of the, the rest of the jean parts. I've used up almost all the fabric I had which is a coffee print back from the days when I was making a lot of aprons. Um, if you've been watching me since the elegant corner days, then you know, you know what you know. Anyway, um, and I have out of two pairs of jeans I had left from all the different jean things I've been doing, this is all I have left. So yeah, that'll be cool. So I might work on that tomorrow morning. Um, after they leave and before Junior comes for babysitting. Hi guys, I tried to get some sewing in this morning before Junior came over for babysitting, but I didn't get too much done. I got a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, he's getting picked up early. Bob's got lodge meetings tonight, so hopefully I can get some more stuff done. We'll see. Anyway, that's my Thursday, July 20th. I hope you're having a great day. I have to say, despite the fact that I have to stop being creative to watch Junior, I wouldn't really have it any other way. I'll be back. Guys, I got the tote bag and insert that I was working on yesterday done. Um, so I'm gonna switch the camera around and I'll show you some proper footage, hold on. Okay, so this is the bag front with a pocket. This is the bag back. I did add a zipper to the top. Right now it's full of um, like travel art supplies or urban sketching. And it's got this in organizing insert. The inside of the bag has a zipper pocket. And then this insert has a bunch of art supplies and journals in it. And I will link the site that I got the idea for this bag, I did veer off of her pattern a bit. Um, but 
I think it's a pretty easy one to follow. And I'm pretty pleased. So there you go. All right. I really have to stop making art bags though because yeah, I have too many. <laughs> I'll be back. It's a little dark. Uh, Bob left her for her Masonic Lodge meeting and I've been crocheting. I think it's time to turn on some lights. I got the body of the sweater done. But I can't even show you because it's so dark in the house. So hang on. <laughs> anyway, I got the body of the sweater done and it's all one piece. There is a crap ton of threads to hide because it is a scrap sweater. Um, but next we'll be figuring out how to get the sleeves so that I just have the one seam to sew, to, yeah, stitch together uh, and all the threads. Anyway, let me just toss it on over my shirt and show you. I'll put you right there by the plant. I can see. Yep. So, uh, there we go. It's a cute, like, wave pattern. It'll have long sleeves. I like the black shoulders. I'll, of course, probably wear it with black leggings. Right now, it looks a little ridiculous because we just have like this. But once it's sewn together, Yep, I like it. What do you think? Pretty cool, but it is almost 9.30. I'm supposed to do a few other things before he gets home. I guess I, guess I better do them. It is Saturday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I have no idea. July something. We're headed over to um, the kids' house to help them with some construction work. Well, Bob's going to help with construction. I'm going to watch the baby while mommy goes to work. And Oma's bringing stuff 
to keep her occupied when the baby is napping, which isn't a whole lot, but I sort of feel like I'm moving in. But anyway. Yeah, you got a few things. I got a few, few things, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go grab some donuts on the way and then we'll see how today goes. Hopefully they can get it all done today. We don't have to repeat this tomorrow, but I mean, also hopefully no emergency room trips, but we'll find out. I'll be back. Yeah, so we're here in my daughter and son-in-law's backyard helping with the concrete footings. They've been at this all day. I just came out to help when my daughter got home from work. She's over there. Um, baby's asleep. I was babysitting all day. I didn't want to help with this part, but she came home from work after a whole day of work and they were still working. So, you know, we're almost done. Anyway, it's been an interesting week as always. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. We've got some things coming up. I'm not going to talk about right now, but they'll be interesting. And there's an artsy trio collab coming up next week. Is that next week? Yeah, crap, that's next week. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up. So anyway, stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Lily says hi. All right. See you later. Bye, guys.